There we go. Welcome to the intro to ARC stream. Live stream. As you can see, it's dark. I uh, am not exactly introing because I, you know, got this, all this crap. Anyways, don't worry about all that. I found a shark stuck up on the shore and I murdered it. And uh, got all this meat and stuff, so that's good. Anyways, welcome to Ark. When you start the game, you're going to be completely naked. I managed to find some pants and some gloves. You're going to want to run up to trees. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Ark is a survival builder game. You're going to want to survive around dinosaurs that want to murder you. And advance to the point where they don't want to murder you so much. So, I made it to Herbivore Island, on the island. Pretty awesome place to start, no carnivores, just don't go in the water. And uh, the right side of the island here is super flat, so it'll be great for building on. But you don't want to build too far inland, because you've got a lot of metal and stone spawns up there that are really nice to have. So, we're going to clear out some of these rocks and build as far away from the island as we can. Now, when you first get here, you start with nothing. Uh, you want to run up to a tree and start punching it like this. So you're getting thatch, wood. Once you get about 10 thatch, one wood, you want to look for some stone along the shoreline. You can walk along the shoreline and just hit your pickup button like that. For me, it's E if you're using default controls and pick up all this stone. Once you get some stone, go to your crafting, craft yourself a stone pick. Once you get the stone pick, you can get more thatch, more wood, flint, and then eventually, once you level up, which you should level up right away, make yourself a stone hatchet and a campfire. Then you're gonna wanna go looking for meat. Now, I got lucky and found a beached uh, megalodon, but they're usually in the beginner areas dodos, which you can kill for meat early on. That, it, that needs to be your very first priority, because punching a tree depletes your health, which depletes your food really quickly. I got all this meat cooking, plus I'm staying near the fire because, you know, it's, uh... cold on this island. So anyways, the sun's starting to come up. The sun is starting to come up, so let's start working on our shelter. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, skip the thatch and go for the wood. Just because I like, I like wood architecture. Architecture, whatever. And I think it's a bit sturdier than thatch. A lot sturdier than thatch. And broke my hatchet. So right click and repair. It looks like we need some more flint. So the next rock I'm going to be taking that rock apart with the pick to get the flint. start out it's really a balance you have to balance uh, gathering crafting and just kind of build yourself up with nothing just always make sure you have plenty of food which and access to water we're not gonna have to worry about food but you will when you're first starting out so make sure once you've established a safe place on the island Kill off some dodos, harvest a bunch of meat, and keep the meat stores up. Ideally, the first day you're gonna work towards getting the preserving bin. Ideally, because otherwise all your meat's gonna spoil overnight. And you're gonna wake up in the morning and have to panic about where you're gonna get your next food source from. You 
You can eat berries, but they don't do much. You get more from the meat. So, uh, the preserving bin is level 18. If you can't make that the first day, don't worry too much about it, but that is, that is your goal. We haven't even been playing this long, we're already like level 7. You get XP from doing practically everything. Gathering, crafting. So as you work, you burn energy. That's the lightning bolt in the bottom right-hand corner. Energy is replaced using your food and water. Also in the bottom right-hand corner. Shown by the, oh crap, the meat icon and the water drop icon. The one above that, it kind of looks, you can't see it because it's not filled out, but it kind of looks like a little anvil or something. It's a weight. That's your weight. The one above that is experience. It's the up arrow with the plus sign. So, here we are. We've cleared off the island. Problem is, we don't learn any wood structures until level 11. So we might kind of be stuck crafting thatch for now. Let's get the foundations, the wall, and the ceiling. And the door frame. We got six left, so the door frame and the door. All right. So. What we need now is fiber, and lots of it. Now, um, if you're doing, f if you're collecting a lot of fiber, you probably won't have to worry about meat as much because you'll get an ass load of berries. But again, berries are pretty much only used for feeding dinos. The only way to get fiber early on is by picking plants. Don't worry about getting too close to these guys. Really don't let yourself get pushed into the water. Because they're sharks and they're scary. See, look. Megalodon. Mantas. Oh, and try not to attack, I mean, you can attack the Parasaurs, they're just going to run away, but uh, Stegos are going to mess you up, so try not to attack the Stegos, eh? Alright, so early on, this is a PvE server, I don't have to worry about PvP, so I'm putting my stuff into weight. 
I'm aiming for about 300 weight. Alright, we've got enough for the bed now. See, now I feel like I shouldn't have gotten the thatch stuff, because we're almost to wood. I need the hide sleeping bag. Okay, so we'll learn the hide sleeping bag. And we'll save the rest. Let's craft an X plus storage box. Alright, so this is probably my fault. I probably shouldn't have taken the thatch building crap. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna level up this fast, but that's fine. We can we can change our stuff later on. Let's put our storage box right here. Let's transfer all. Boom. Let's take the meat back, and we're gonna go out gathering. So for wood stuff, we need wood, thatch, and. That's it, wooden thatch. Take our little axe here. Start hacking down trees. Uh, maybe a little bit of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Again, keep your eye out for dinos. You don't want to accidentally aggro Stego and have them smash everything you've been working on. Possibly kill you, chase you across the island. We got some rock carrot seeds. That is great. Those are going to come in really handy later. Alright, well since we have the stuff, since we have the stuff, let's make some thatch. Oh, we can only make one? Because it requires fiber. Uh. All right, where's the sickle? The sickle, sickle. We don't get the sickle till level thirty. Holy crap! keep gathering. We're going to want a lot of wood. We're going to want a lot of thatch. We're going to want a lot of everything in order to build our our cabin by the lake or our thatch hut on the island or whatever you want to call it. In fact, let's head deeper into the island. This is called Herbivore Island. So, because there's nothing on it but herbivores. So it's nice and quiet, peaceful. Don't have to worry too much about pissing everything off. There's a lot of meat with the Philomias nearby. This is pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna speed this process up and hopefully come back and an appropriate level.
just hold it. <laughs> Take that. Nice. Look at that. You can hold E. You don't even have to press it. The Fiomias are like the pigs of Ark. They kind of look like pigs. They have a... What they do have is a good chunk of meat. They don't fight back. They do run. So you're going to want to make sure you, you kill them quick or you bolo them or something. Make a bolo, bolo them, and just spear them to death. And you'll get a good chunk of meat out of them. In fact, when can we make bolos? That'll really help with our leveling up. Level 9. Ooh, we're almost there. You, you, can, you can grind some nice levels out from uh, killing dinos. And in fact, later on in the game, that's what you're gonna have to do. Crafting gives you experience. Everything gives you experience. Gathering gives you experience. There's a nice text to go. You don't have to worry about aggroing the dinos. At least these. Oh, dino poop! Get it! Hi, Night Cole. I don't know why. We're gonna be sleeping later tonight. Alright, dino poop. Why are you picking up poop? Because you use it for fertilizer. What the hell is that brontosaurus doing out there? You know what? I don't care. <laughs> You can throw it in your crop plants, or you can get, make it as fertilizer. Obviously, it's probably going to spoil before we can actually use it, but it's okay. So we got some Amar berry seeds. That's good. We got some rock carrot seeds. That's great. We got a lot of fiber. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is crafting the um, thatch and building a little thatch temporary house over here and just kind of at least marking this spot, hopefully keeping the dinos away. Alright, so let's head over here. To our S plus where we can grab stuff. Let's make I think one, two, three, four. I need at least four of these. How about six? Okay, we're missing thatch.
There you go. Thatch foundation. The makings of your own house. But now we need some thatch. Now the problem with building is when you build close to something like this, it actually stops the respawns. It'll say, hey, there's a building there. We can't respawn. So the trees go away, the plants go away. Eventually, you're just left with your house and, you know, the grass that's there. Not a big deal. But that's why we're building out here, on the very tip of what is known as Herbivore Island. We don't want to disturb the spawns in the inner island, because there's a lot of metal in there. So... We want to keep the stone, we want to keep the metal, we want to keep the wood spawning on the inner island, and we want to build our fortress of solitude, whatever you want to call it, on the outer island. Once we knock down these trees for thatch, we should be good to go. Alright, so S plus allows you to pull things. In this case, you're gonna pull that. That's the repair button, that's the build button. And that is whatever that is. I usually wouldn't swing if the dinosaur is that close, but it's just a parasol. You know? Oh boy, and here comes the weather again. It's starting to get cold. Alright, so it gets rather cold on the island. Right now it's down in the 50s. That's going to take a toll on your, you know, thing. Alright, so let's make, uh, I was thinking, I was thinking, uh, nine, so, three by three. One, two, three, four, I need to make another four. Alright, where's our S+. Plus? plus thatch door craft one s plus thatch door frame craft one and then we're gonna need seven s plus thatch walls So now we can work on things like this bolo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for thatch first, and then we'll get the stone of the, or it's not stone, but wood eventually. Let us, we will let us take the bolo for sure. Uh, the standing torch would have been nice, but the bolo for sure. That's gonna help us get some meat. Oh, and I need the simple bed too, but I guess we have the hide sleeping bag, so that'll be okay for now. Um, okay, we've got our walls, we've got our doorway, we're missing our roof. It's a two by two, so we need four thatch roofs. We're using the S-plus mod just because it's better. 
everything everything goes on the ground better, it latches onto things better, blah blah blah. This just the whole mod is better. It's one of the many things that players have done to improve upon the game. The S plus mod. Alright, so... This is how tall the normal ceiling is. It literally clips against your head. Which is why normally I go two walls high. What's up, doll? Okay. You got it. All right, so normally I go two ceilings, two walls high, just because it's it looks nicer. Because right now it's like your head's just hitting against the ceiling. You know, so that's not too bad. And there you go. You've got your shelter. We've gathered some resources. We've got our shelter. We've got a campfire. Let's uh, pick it up. That's one thing about the S Plus is everything can be picked up. So you don't have to. It's not like, oh, I just dropped this thing and now I have to destroy it and take everything and recraft it again. So there you go, you got your shelter. Let's check the Ingrams for any kind of ramp. Slope roof. You eventually want to upgrade to the bed because it's permanent, but we won't need to upgrade to the bed now. You all eventually want... Oh, there's another mod, Awesome Spyglass. It's amazing, by the way. And if I had crystal, I'd probably make one, which I think there's going to be crystal up there in the wood. That's, that's, that's what we're going to go hunt next. Anyways. So there you go. It's been about 20, 30, it's been about 30 minutes. We've got our shelter built so that we can survive the cold nights. Do I have enough to make the sleeping bag? Oh, I need hide. Ooh, but I have enough to make one of these, so let's craft a shirt. Let's craft a hat. And let's craft a water skin. So let's head inside. We've got some nice cloth to protect us from the thingy. This is only going to be a temporary house until we actually are able to build a wood house. But that's going to take some time. We're going to invest some Ingrams. Uh, we're going to invest some of our Ingrams in combat stuff. And we're going to shoot for that preserving bin. Once we get our wood house and our preserving bin, then we'll be able to start getting some real stuff going, but that's not for a while. Anyways. That's it for the intro to Ark. We now have food. We've got water. We've got shelter. We have everything we need to survive right now. And we are flush with resources. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. We don't need that. We can drop it. We don't need that. We can drop it. We've got our storage up. Uh, we need some hide. So our next big thing is to craft a couple bolas and go hunting. But we'll do that on uh, on our next video. 
There's your intro to arc. And uh, enjoy the game. Okay. Try not to get murdered by everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're uh, interested in playing arc with us, uh, go to ghost-bear-command.com. I'll put a link in the bottom of the video so you can get up there and uh, apply. We have a 150-person gaming community that plays games like this all the time. So if you're interested in playing with us, come on down. <laughs>